The Minister for Gender, Labor and Social Development and that of ICT Chris Bariomsi made the announcement at Uganda Media Center in Kampala. They said the Gender Ministry had not received enough data from the local authorities to start sending money to the vulnerable persons hit by COVID-19 lockdown. We also had requests from town clerks across municipalities and town councils to extend for them time because they were overwhelmed with the processing of the data. In the case of Kampala, they had delayed uploading the data on the system because they were processing it and first typing it at division level. And by 2 p.m., we still had not received any data from Kampala uploaded on the system. The minister adds that they were also battling legal issues concerning the data of the beneficiaries that also needed to be cleared. Therefore, the delay in payments, which should have begun today, has been occasioned by some of those issues of data which are not uh, uh, enough. And of course, you, you know, like in the case of Kampala, we wanted at least to sample that all sub-region are there for us to start payments. But also there was another additional legal issue of how to deal and protect the biodata of the beneficiaries. The minister pledged to sort out inconsistencies involving the data collection process. The data, the town clerks have been given the liberty to look at mechanism through which they can verify the data. That's why you are seeing in, in most of the areas in Kampala, they have displayed the data. That's a process of verification. In other areas, after verification, they are also asking security to support them to confirm that those are residents from that area. Because in our proposal, we gave liberty to the town clerks to look at village health teams to support them, to look at the Red Cross, to look at uh, ward administrators, community development officers, support from the LCs. The Minister for ICT revealed that talks are ongoing between government and financial institutions to urge them to review loan terms so as not to harass defaulters during lockdown. And we're also engaging the banks and the financial institutions uh, to do the same when it comes to loans, mortgages, so that there is this understanding and the loans repayment can be restructured so that we can cushion. The landlords have also been urged not to harass tenants during the lockdown. I also want to use this opportunity to, to call upon landlords like we are on guided in the first lockdown we further, as government, wanted to clarify that the Ugandans, we have to support each other and the people should not be evicted or forced to pay rent when actually they are not earning because there are those concerns also. Philip Aguta, UBC News in Kampala. Thank you very much.